Multi-user MIMO is a set of multiple input and multiple output technologies for wireless communication, in which a set of users or wireless terminals, each with one or more antennas, communicate with each other. In contrast, single-user MIMO considers a single multi-antenna transmitter communicating with a single multi-antenna receiver. In a similar way that OFDMA adds multiple access multi -user capabilities to OFDM, MU MIMO adds multiple access multi -user capabilities to MIMO. MU MIMO has been investigated since the beginning of research into multi-antenna communication, including work by Teletar on the capacity of the MU MIMO uplink. SDMA, Massive MIMO, Coordinated Multipoint Comp, and Ad Hoc MIMO are all related to MU MIMO. Each of those technologies often leverage spatial degrees of freedom to separate users. Topic: Technology. Multi-user MIMO, MIMO can leverage multiple users as spatially distributed transmission resources, at the cost of somewhat more expensive signal processing. In comparison, conventional, or single-user MIMO considers only local device multiple antenna dimensions. Multi-user MIMO algorithms are developed to enhance MIMO systems when the number of users or connections is greater than one. Multi-user MIMO can be generalized into two categories, MIMO Broadcast Channels MIMO BC, and MIMO Multiple Access Channels MIMO MAC, for downlink and uplink situations, respectively. Single-user MIMO can be represented as point-to-point, -point, pairwise MIMO. To remove ambiguity of the words receiver and transmitter, we can adopt the terms access point app, or base station, and user. An app is the transmitter and a user is the receiver for downlink environments, whereas an app is the receiver and a user is the transmitter for uplink environments. Homogeneous networks are somewhat freed from this distinction. <laughs> MIMO broadcast MIMO BC. MIMO broadcast represents a MIMO downlink case in a single sender to multiple receiver wireless network. Examples of advanced transmit processing for MIMO BC are interference-aware precoding and SDMA-based downlink user scheduling. For advanced transmit processing, the channel state information has to be known at the transmitter CSIT. That is, knowledge of CSIT allows throughput improvement, and methods to obtain CSIT become of significant importance. MIMO BC systems have an outstanding advantage over point-to-point -point MIMO systems, especially when the number of transmit antennas at the transmitter, or app, is larger than the number of receiver antennas at each receiver user. Two categories of coding techniques for the MIMO BC include those using dirty paper coding DPC, and linear techniques. Topic. MIMO MAC Conversely, the MIMO multiple access channel or MIMO MAC represents a MIMO uplink case in the multiple sender to single receiver wireless network. Examples of advanced receive processing for MIMO MAC are joint interference cancellation and SDMA-based uplink user scheduling. For advanced receive processing, the receiver has to know the channel state information at the receiver CSIR. Knowing CSIR is generally easier than knowing CSIT. However, knowing CSIR costs a lot of uplink resources to transmit dedicated pilots from each user to the app. MIMO MAC systems outperforms point-to-point -point MIMO systems especially when the number of receiver antennas at an app is larger than the number of transmit antennas at each user. Cross-layer MIMO Cross-layer MIMO enhances the performance of MIMO links by solving certain cross-layer problems that may occur when MIMO configurations are employed in a system. Cross-layer techniques can be used to enhance the performance of SISO links as well. Examples of cross-layer techniques are joint source channel coding, adaptive modulation and coding AMC, or Link adaptation, hybrid ARQ, HARQ, and user scheduling. Topic: 
Topic: Multi-user to multi-user. The highly interconnected wireless ad hoc network increases the flexibility of wireless networking at the cost of increased multi-user interference. To improve the interference immunity, FI, MAC layer protocols have evolved from competition-based to cooperative-based transmission and reception. Cooperative wireless communications can actually exploit interference, which includes self-interference and other user interference. In cooperative wireless communications, each node might use self-interference and other user interference to improve the performance of data encoding and decoding, whereas conventional nodes are generally directed to avoid the interference. For example, once strong interference is decodable, a node decodes and cancels the strong interference before decoding the self-signal. The mitigation of low carrier over interference COI ratios can be implemented across PHI, MAC, application network layers in cooperative systems. Cooperative multiple antenna research, apply multiple antenna technologies in situations with antennas distributed among neighboring wireless terminals. Cooperative diversity, achieve antenna diversity gain by the cooperation of distributed antennas belonging to each independent node. Cooperative MIMO, achieve MIMO advantages, including the spatial multiplexing gain, using the transmit or receiver cooperation of distributed antennas belonging to many different nodes. Cooperative relay, apply cooperative concepts onto relay techniques, which is similar to cooperative diversity in terms of cooperative signaling. However, the main criterion of cooperative relay is to improve the trade-off region between delay and performance, while that of cooperative diversity and MIMO is to improve the link and system performance at the expense of minimal cooperation loss. Relaying techniques for cooperation store and forward S and F, amplify and forward A and F, decode and forward D and F, coded cooperation, spatial coded cooperation, compress and forward C and F, non-orthogonal methods. Topic. Cooperative MIMO, CO MIMO CO MIMO, also known as Network MIMO, Net MIMO or Ad Hoc MIMO, uses distributed antennas which belong to other users, while conventional MIMO, i.e., single-user MIMO, only employs antennas belonging to the local terminal. CO MIMO improves the performance of a wireless network by introducing multiple antenna advantages, such as diversity, multiplexing and beamforming. If the main interest hinges on the diversity gain, it is known as cooperative diversity. It can be described as a form of macro diversity, used for example in soft handover. Cooperative MIMO corresponds to transmitter macro diversity or simulcasting. A simple form that does not require any advanced signal processing is single frequency networks SFN, used especially in wireless broadcasting. SFNs combined with channel adaptive or traffic adaptive scheduling is called dynamic single frequency networks DSFN. CO MIMO is a technique useful for future cellular networks which consider wireless mesh networking or wireless ad hoc networking. In wireless ad hoc networks, multiple transmit nodes communicate with multiple receive nodes. To optimize the capacity of ad hoc channels, MIMO concepts and techniques can be applied to multiple links between the transmit and receive node clusters. Contrasted to multiple antennas in a single user MIMO transceiver, participating nodes and their antennas are located in a distributed manner. So, to achieve the capacity of this network, techniques to manage distributed radio resources are essential. Strategies such as autonomous interference cognition, node cooperation, and network coding with dirty paper coding have been suggested to optimize wireless network capacity. Topic. See also. Distributed antenna system Mesh network Mobile ad hoc network Phased array Space division multiple access Space-time coding, processing